Assalamu alaikum dears in this video we will be discussing what is the scope of morphology in linguistics during 20th century different approaches have been suggested by different linguists in order to identify morphemes and the relationship between morphemes and words but most linguists are in agreement on the type of phenomena morphology is concerned with the following example of words will illustrate what areas morphology is related with the first category of words includes locates locate locating located the second category is location locative dislocate and the third category is football workload time bomb now if we see these three categories the first category that consists locates locating and located clearly indicate that the suffixes es ing and ed with locate verb do not change the grammatical category of these verbs neither these suffixes change the meaning of these verbs and they show the present form of verb the past form of verb and the present participle form of verb thus these are called inflectional morpheme the second category of words location locative and dislocate in location and locative the suffixes i o n and i v e and the prefix in dislocate d i s clearly indicate that these prefixes and suffixes have changed the grammatical category and the meaning of these words and with the help of these suffixes and prefixes new words have been derived thus this process is called derivational process and these prefixes and suffixes are derivational morphemes the third category that includes football workload and time bomb are the examples of compositional process these are three compounds in which two free morphemes have been combined to form another lexical morpheme this is called compositional process these examples clearly indicate that the scope of morphology is inflectional process derivational process and compositional process in inflectional process inflections are added to morphemes but they do not change the meaning and grammatical category of a word in derivational process derivational morphemes are added to the words and they change sometimes the grammatical category and sometimes the meaning of a word and the third category compositional process where compound words are made with the help of combinations of two or more than two free morphemes this is the scope of morphology thank you so much for watching this video